some interesting stuff for you going on. The CS50 course finally sent us an update with some new things that are starting that I hope you all are excited for. I have them here. We're going to be taking a look at them. Let's see if we can't enlarge them for you real quick. All right. So getting started, it looks like David Malin is starting us off with a introduction to cybersecurity, introduction to databases with SQL, and it looks like we already have something called Ready Player 50, which we're going to kind of dive into and see if we can't help you out with this. Now, a lot of people have asked a lot of questions. I've gotten some Discord comments that have said that they're not sure that CS50 is worth it, or they talked to some people in coding, maybe from the companies they work for, some friends they've reached out to, and they don't really know if CS50 is quite as valuable this day and age as they would typically recommend. But I want to kind of cut into that real quick. Number one, the first thing I want to do before I get into all of this, I showed you a little bit about what it's like setting up for this in the morning and really getting started into this. It takes a lot, I think, for YouTubers to get out there and put themselves on camera and talk to an empty room knowing that we actually may be addressing 100,000 people or more, depending on the channel. So for me, it's a really big issue. I am not extremely comfortable on camera. You've seen it in some of my videos. I actually left some of the behind the scenes in there because it was important to me to let my subscribers and my people that I'm helping out there know that it is not always the easiest thing to do in the morning. So what we're doing here is I want to first thank all of my subscribers to getting me to over a thousand and help propel you all and continue forward in a way that is efficient and helpful and is being your partner and your guide along through all of these things. So first and foremost, thank you all of you and stay tuned because at the end of this video, I am actually going to be giving something back to one of my subscribers uh, that I hope has a lot of value to you, whoever wins this. We're actually going to do a little bit of coding on the end to see how we structure this to see who wins. So hopefully you'll enjoy that as well. So getting started, let's talk about CS50 real quick. The course is difficult for a lot of new beginners and a lot of people drop out after week one. And that's a little disheartening because it, you, one of the things you have to remember is that you're taking a Harvard class. You're taking a class that is currently being taught at the Harvard University. For those of you who don't know, Harvard actually started edX. It was the original backing behind edX. It was actually Harvard and MIT that started it. So it was a big deal for them. Ultimately, they ended up like selling it and you know just wanted to have courses out there for free. Anyway, so the CS50 introductory course is truly a beginner's course. It is. It's not easy, though. It's not. If you walked into Harvard and you wanted to take one of their English courses or if you wanted to take, you know, something that they had available, if you were expecting an easy class, I think that you signed up for the wrong thing. And it's really important to know that. It's important to remember that, you know, you have this course that's available from one of the oldest institutions in the world for education, and it's available to you for free. And that's what we're getting here. We're getting something that is not widely available, not everywhere, and things like that. So you're getting access to this course, and it really does mean a lot. Now, why is CS50 so difficult? CS50 is difficult because a lot of people don't realize how easy or difficult it is to unlearn everything you think. When you tell somebody in everyday life to do something, or if you're told to do something, you have the idea of what kind of like the action is, like how it's supposed to work and things like that. But a computer knows nothing and you have to understand that it knows nothing and begin to tell it to understand things. And you're the one that's teaching it that. So you're not teaching it from, you know, basics, understandings of a two-year-old, of a three-year-old, of a five-year-old. You're actually teaching this computer from zero understanding, like, hey, pick up that pen, right? Well, first and foremost, the computer doesn't have anything to pick it up with, right? So you have to define everything. You have to tell the computer what it is. You have to tell the program where the pen is, what the pen is, how you want it to pick up the pen, things like that. So you have to unlearn a lot of what you think, like, hey, why doesn't the computer understand this? Well, the computer doesn't understand it because we haven't defined it. So CS50 is not an easy course to get through, but it is a beginner's course. And there is help out there like myself and there's some other people out there too that are going to be giving back and trying to help you in the right ways. Now, I don't recommend walkthroughs that are not beneficial to you. Walkthroughs that don't have the necessary notes in there or that aren't really explaining what they're doing going back and forth. If you're not getting anything from it and you're just completing the assignment, you can complete CS50. By all means, you'll finish the course. However, you're not going to take anything away from it. Which means you won't be a better programmer anyway from the beginning of when you started this course to when you finish this course. Just because you can do the code, if you don't understand the code, it's really integral that you do understand the code because not understanding it means that you didn't get anywhere. And that's up to you. If you're simply looking to pass the course to get the certificate or whatever the case is, that's fine. But the second you get thrown into a situation where you actually have to understand what you're doing, it will be very evident that you don't understand. You don't have the understanding that you need and you're not done. You didn't really do the work on the course. So make sure you find someone who's ushering you through this course in a way that you understand it. 
And if you do that, you will get back out of C as 50 what you put into it. In addition to that, I want to remind you that C is really a foundational language. It's not the only language out there. You have Python, you have Ruby. I mean, SQL is a course too, right? You have all these different programming languages. You have Oracle, you know, you've got your cloud system computing, whatever the case is. However, C is really foundational. It's really learning the core of C that's going to help drag you through and make all of the other coding that you learn easier. Learning things like loops, learning things like basic programming for int i whatever the case is whatever you're learning here in c that's going to carry you forward and the fun thing is is that once you've completed c you're actually going to realize that python ruby whatever it is that you step into c sharp c plus plus whatever the case is you're actually going to have a better understanding of it because you completed c so as a foundational language it's really going to help you out going forward and making sure that you do know and you are efficient in what it is you're doing out there so as far as the value of c there is no number that you could put on it the value that you got out of this course, just like any course, is going to be equivalent to the value that you put into it. So I really hope that you stick with it. I hope that if you're watching this video and you're phoning with CS50s for me, it's 2023, is it still relevant, whatever the case is? The answer is yes, but you're only going to get back what you put into it. So that being said, no matter where you are in this course, stick with it. You definitely can do it. There are people to help you. If I'm not the right person to help you, there are people out there. Just make sure that the people that are helping you are pushing you forward and helping you understand it in a way that you're getting something back from it. Because that's that's the quintessential need for this course, to make sure that you actually are getting the value that is available in it. All right. Let's dive into what we have for you on the CS50 update and what David Malin's got going for us and some things that I'm going to be enrolling in and help kind of walk all my subscribers through and again kind of be that resource that you need going forward and I think it'll be a lot of fun. We've had a lot of requests. We definitely had a request for AI. We had a request for SQL. So when we talk about where's this course going next as far as me developing my own which I have been working on in the background but as far as where this course is going next it looks like David Malin has offered us a path forward. Number one, we have Introduction to Cybersecurity, which is a new course taught by David Malin that starts October 1st, 2023, at least according to the email they said. So if some of these courses are older, I apologize. I just got the email update and I'm looking forward to them. I'm going to get logged in for them. I'm going to sign up for them and then I'm going to help walk you through them in a way that I think will be meaningful for you. So CS50's Introduction to Cybersecurity. Uh, introduction to Cybersecurity for technical and non-technical audiences alike. Learn how to protect your own data, devices, and systems for today's threats and how to recognize and evaluate tomorrow's as well. Both at home and at work. Learn to view cybersecurity not in absolute terms, but relative a function of risks and rewards for an adversary and costs and benefits for you. Learn how to recognize cybersecurity as a trade for usability. So the course presents both high and low level examples of threats providing students with all they need to know technically to understand both assignments inspired by real world events. Which is really cool. If you're talking about cybersecurity and you're not dealing with real world events, then what are you dealing with? And I think a lot of you need to know that I think the opinion you have of hacking from the Hollywood aspect is not exactly what it really is here. Now there are high level hacking systems, but most of these SQL injections and things like that uh, actually derive a lot of the information they get from a very simple mistake in code that is actually very accessible if you know how to do what you're looking for. And I say that with the hopes that the introduction to cybersecurity shows you all of that because the ease of extracting information from a website because somebody didn't set a password or change a password or left the passwords online for you to find as long as you know where to look is shockingly simple. So I hope that that will show you that. Next we have introduction to database with SQL. So if you liked the 50 vil course, if you were liking hunting through the, the databases and things like that, this one should be really good course for you. So we have course starts October 1st, 2023. 2023. Introduction to the database using language called SQL, SQL. Learn how to create, read, update, delete data with relation, relational databases, which store data in rows and columns. Learn how to model real world entities and relationships among them using tables, appropriate types, triggers, and constraints. Learn how to normalize data and eliminate redundancies and reduce potential for error. Learn how to join tables together using primary and foreign keys. Learn how to automate searches with view and expedited searches with index indexes. Learn how to connect SQL with other languages like Python and Java. That's a big one. Now, we should already know that from CS50 a little bit, but hopefully this dives into it more and gives you a better understanding of why that's important. The course begins with SQL Lite for portability sake and ends with the introductions to PostgreSQL and MySQL uh, for scalability sake. Uh, assignment inspired by real world data sets. So that's another thing that they're doing here for you. So these SQLs should be uh, relative to what's currently happening. Hopefully the real world scenarios aren't, old, um, but that will help carry you forward in SQL. Now, let's get into what I'm excited for. Ready Player 50. So this says... Like to learn more about artificial intelligence, large language models, and prompt engineering? Join CS50 for Ready Player 50. Register at cs50.ly slash register. CS50 Duck has a secret. Can you convince it to reveal its secrets? Join CS50 and lacara.ai for a challenge in which you'll face none other than CS50's Duck Debugger, aka DBB, DDB, an experimental AI for rubber ducking. But be warned, each time you crack the code, the CS50 Duck will level up and become more protective. Along the way, you'll learn more about prompt engineering, in turn, prompt injection attacks, which can be a problem for large language models. This challenge can cause a version of the world-famous prompt injection game Gandalf, specifically designed for CS50. Starts at 0 on Friday, September 29th. 
in your own time zone ends at 2359 on Monday, October 2nd in your own time zone. Team sizes of two, three, and four are encouraged, but you may form larger teams of reasonable size. Open to anyone online whether you're taking CS50 or not. No prior programming experience required. And we have CS50.ai. Need help understanding a concept of debugging some code? Try CS50's Duck Debugger as a conversational AI, so it's a la ChatGPT. The cool thing about this is that it is like ChatGPT or it's inspired or run in the background by ChatGPT, except it answers questions in the way that a teacher would, not in the way that it would try and help you cheat, because again, you're only going to get back what you put into this please remember that so if you don't if you put in a question and you get a way that a tutor would tell you like hey this is what you're missing or where are you going or things like that now i haven't used the the chat gpt duck debugger yet so I, i'm not sure how it works but it takes chat gpt and allows a student who wants to learn to learn by being ushered rather than being told so hopefully this is a really good tool that we can use now it is september 30th so I am going to be looking into the CS50 duck debugger and see what secret it has and see what I can do to get in there. And that's gonna be part of what we're doing today. Just because they said that it closes on Monday, October 2nd. So I don't have a lot of time to get into this. And I wanna make sure that we take advantage of it while it's there because anyone who misses it can at least see me ideally work through it or struggle through it or whatever the case is, but I'm happy to help you out. So that'll be in the next video. Now, getting on to what I'm giving back to you and giving back to my community is I want to give away a certificate from edX for free. So I want to give you the paid certificate and the rules are very simple. You have to be subscribed. Now you must be publicly subscribed. If your subscriptions are private, then I won't be able to see that you are a subscriber of mine. So please make sure that you are subscribed, like, and comment on this video. Make sure the comments there, the like, give or take, but I have to see the comment there. If it's helpful to you or if you know somebody else that's taking CS50 and you think that the verified certificate for them would be valuable, then go ahead and tag them in the comments. Subscribe, comment. If you want, tag somebody. That doesn't, every, every person who applies is gonna get one entry. You have to be subscribed and you have to comment. Please like the video as well. Subscription and comment is gonna be your entry. We're gonna run a program that's gonna run a tournament for you to see who wins. The certificate that you're gonna get from edX is gonna be equal or lesser value than the CS50 certificate. So that runs about $199. And I'm gonna give that away to one of my subscribers. So good luck, like this video, comment, subscribe. Make sure your subscriptions are on public because only the people that I can see that are subscribed are gonna be eligible for this. And we're gonna run them all through and we're gonna give one of these things away. Now you don't have to take the certificate in CS50. If you have a certificate course that's equal value or less and you want the verified certificate in that, maybe you already have one in CS50 then that's going to be what we're giving to you. So this is going to run from October 1st to October 31st. So once the closes on the 31st, I will be programming it and we will have a winner announced by November 15th. And if that's you, I'll let you know at that time, there'll be a whole video made and we will get and find a way to get in contact with you and make sure that we can get you your certificate with the registered email that you're using for, for edX. So good luck to all of you. Thank you so much for your support this far. Uh, it's great to be able to give back and I want to keep this thing growing so I look forward to seeing you on the duck debugger hunt on Red, Ready Player 50. Introduction to databases with SQL, introduction to cybersecurity. So I'll be enrolling for all of those and helping you walk through them. Now again, maybe these aren't brand new courses, maybe the new ones just start on October 1st, but I'm going to get signed up for them and I'm going to be posting uh, information on these. And then as AI develops too, I definitely am going to be keeping you posted on that to find a way to make sure that you are abreast of what's going on in AI, what you would need to be in that field, what AI means for the field that you're looking to go into and things like that. So thanks so much. I appreciate you. I can't ever tell you how much I'm so excited to have gotten this far. And it's all thanks to all of you. As always, this was CS50. I am Devin Finley. That was the course update as well as the competition. You all are awesome. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you soon. Good luck in the competition.